So first of all, let's take care of the uh, the, the dimmed background. And that will be actually shown without any animation on top of this navigation stack. Remember, this is a Z stack, so we can easily add this on top. And that is going to be shown if show menu, only in that case, so there is no else statement over here. If uh, we want to show the menu, we're going to have a color dot black uh, with an opacity of uh, 0 0.2, for example. And we are going to make it stretch all the way out. So we just add ignores safe area. And uh, also, whenever we tap on that background, we want to uh, move the uh, menu outside. So we just set show menu to false. So on tab gesture, I want to say, show menu equals false. And uh, let's just add in here uh, a width animation, a width animation uh, with a spring, a default spring will be just fine. Oh, and let me just type this out manually. What do you have an open parentheses and a closing parentheses for the show menu? Okay. So um, let's just check it out because now we already have something to uh, look at in the simulator. So whenever we are going to tap on the, uh, let's just see, toolbar, it should, yeah, the toolbar should be inside the navigation stack. That's why we can't see it. So let's just uh, move these lines over there. So I just hit option command and uh, close brackets, just so you know. That's how I just moved this chunk of code up. Okay, now we can see the toolbar. And yeah, we just tapped on it. You know, just you see this dimmed background, tap on it again, it's just going to uh, disable this, is, which is really fine. Now it's uh, time for the real fun part. We want to add in the uh, slide menu view. That's how it's called. Let's just go into the helper side menu view. And we want to actually, you know, push it all the way to the top leading part of our view. So we're going to do that with some stacks and some spacers. So first of all, we want a horizontal stack. 